Civilization. We're back. That's Gabe on the left seat. And the, the leaders of the next century will have learned to deal with the citizens of Sim City and uh, Civilization long before they step on the <laughs> stage. So I'd like to encourage Get us. Get on with uh, it. Graham Nash said, uh, teach your children well. Feed them on your dreams. Give them the Call of Duty. Is the one you'll know by. So for you, for those add you microtransactions, know, add loot boxes, game pass, season mode. You know what to do, guys. These are the seeds thank, we, we thank sow. You very much for the so that needs the family guy clips on the monitor. You're making me sick. You're making me sick. Really I believe in a future where our kids have to gamble their life savings away to play as Peter Griffin in a video game. I truly believe the future of video games is is, is shut up about my baldness chat. Okay. If I see another one of you guys in the audience say hairline check, I am going to personally slap each one of you from this podium. <laughs> Um, I want to definitely thank the Gorilla Boys. Um, a few the Gorilla Boys. The great marketing job. Um, also this the guy's got a great set of hair, man. Blue's birthday adventure. <laughs> oh yeah. Published by Humongous. Developed by Humongous. Let's go, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Disney Pixar is a Bugs Life action game. Boo. Maybe this is a very subjective thing, just for me. But if I ever want to get really fucking pissed off, like if if I'm lifting <laughs> shit in the gym and I need that extra extra push, I need one more rep. I think of that stupid ass fucking German caterpillar from A Bug's Life, and his whole voice is just "Yeah, they chocolates. I like say chocolates, yeah." And I swear to God, I can lift the f I can lift gravity itself. I get so fucking angry. And uh, if you need a source of hatred, think of <laughs> of that caterpillar. Let me tell you something. Fuck that guy. Rugrats Adventure Game. I hate the Published Rugrats. The I hate the Rugrats. If you like the Rugrats, the get the fuck out of the stream. Get out! The Starfire Soccer Challenge. Published by Storm Why would, why would you like Rugrats? It's a show about diapies and boogies. Disgusting. I hate babies. And the award goes to... Disney Pixar's Above, A Bug's Life Action Game. <laughs> Accepting the award for Disney Pixar's Life Looney Tunes Cosmic Capers Animated Jigsaws. What? Published by South Peak Interactive. Developed by South Peak Interactive. What? That's not a game. That's a screen saver. Published by <laughs> The fuck you can't. This is the kind of games that you go to a friend's Developed house and you're intrigued by this icon on their desktop and you're like, what is that game? Looks awesome. And then you actually start playing it and it's like, this is not a game. I'm like, I want to see it anyway. Fuck it. And then you're like, oh, oh, oh. The D show. The, the D show. The D show. National Geographic Maps. God fucking damn it! Fuck! The award for National Geographic fucking Maps a goddamn rat! Fuck! Shit! We were thinking Thank about, you. Uh, Thank you very much. National Geographic Maps is a first-person shooter game, but... <laughs> But I would like to thank uh, all of the thousands of cartographers. <laughs> this guy knows what up, man. 2023 joke. Yeah, you know, that joke is a little General contemporary, Manager I would say. The, the vibe is a little, you know, self-deprecating. Before I begin with the prompter, let me just tell you a little story. I had no. my very best friend in the whole world passed away in a rafting tragedy about three years ago. And he left behind a 12-year-old son. He was not at all well-to-do. And uh, the... He was divorced, and the little boy lived uh, pretty much by himself. And his only, and, and he, I think his life would have been completely ruined after his father died. But he did have a computer, and he did huh. have several video game consoles, and he played them all the time. They were his friends, and he plugged into them and plugged into people all across the country playing video games and computer games. He had a little circle of friends in his small town, Sandpoint, in North Idaho, and they talked about their video games. And his whole life became video games, and the connection with the community became through video games. And he decided he was going to become an engineer, and he has now become the best student he ever. Someone in the chat said, <laughs> and he started streaming. He's known as Varg Skeletor. This is a joke question mark. You guys are going straight to fucking hell. Okay. Oof.
Oh my God. It was in his life because of his love for video games. I uh, cringe when I see people from the interactive game industry no jokes. acting defensive about computer and video games. I think the evidence is entirely in favor of the proposition that these games have a pro-social and healthy influence, and I wish people from the interactive games industry would stop apologizing for them. Yeah, go off, Ben. Keep, that, keep in mind, this is like 98, by the way. This is before it should really got scapegoated. You know. No, this is 99. And now, uh, we'll start with the prompter. The land of the dead. Bill <laughs> <laughs> All right, Graham Fandango. Why have I not streamed Graham Fandango for you guys? I really like this game. It's got skeletons. It's got... Uh, the uh, De Los Muertes shit, I love the Mexican folklore shit, you know, like, what the fuck? I really like playing, like, point-and-click games for you guys, but I just fucking never do it. Mainly because, like, when I get stuck, we're really stuck, you know, but fuck, we should play more of that, man. Alright. Journey into the brain, published by Morphonics. Developed. you won't find anything in mine. An opportunity to say to all of you gamers, as a 20 gamers. Years, These are for games that, for people that stay up night after night, oh. 36 hours on end, forgetting to eat, and sometimes shower. Games for us, boys. I know Games for us. I went to college, and it often happened to me with games like SimCity, oh. Pirates, Warcraft, most recently um, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, and uh, of course the Gamer. old time favorite, Civ 2. Just games? Shut the fuck up, we're trying to be funny. <laughs> we're fucking entertaining. Are you gonna be that way? Oh, yeah, just games. Are you flirting with me? Sorry, the. This <laughs> is awkward. Best games. <laughs> just checking. Alright. The best games <laughs> in these categories. They fucked. You can tell when two people are fucked, okay? I, I, I know this sounds insane, but there's a certain energy where... You just know there's something that happened before they went on stage. You know, the vibes. Game player physically, intellectually, and emotionally. You know what I mean? Realistic graphics, sounds, and gameplay. <laughs> so many chances. As a virgin, I would know. Quote by Joel. As someone who doesn't comprehend sex, I happen to be quite a sex expert. I happen to have a degree at Oxford University where I studied the human penis and the vagina for extensive periods of time. And I have quite learned a few things myself. You see, sex is a lot like video games. And as I would say in my own words, I've got the cheat codes. Big head mode. Wrap it up. I happen to be a Punani expert. Okay, and? SimCity 3000. You're fucked. By electronic arts. You're Developed fucked. By electronic arts you are fucked now. You are fucked now. Okay, and the winner SimCity is... 3000. SimCity 3000. Sid Meier's of Centauri. Woman on the left is disappointed. She definitely was bonking to SimCity 3000. Is it just me that just looks at like background people during speeches and shit? Like, I, I don't, there's something wrong with me. Like, I don't behave like a normal person. I look at like people that don't give speeches and it's the funniest shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is one of those cases where. <laughs> what is this image? What is this image? What is this image? Well, first of all, I ended on him blinking. And the guy in the background, uh, Jerry Seinfeld or whatever, steal him, Joel the face. I'm saying I've never worked harder on a game than this. Fuck, I love so cocaine. I'd like to thank oh, my partner Sid Meier for cocaine. Uh, teaching Holy us shit. all of the game design Fuck. secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Zooted. <laughs> Zooted. <laughs> okay. For Jeff Briggs for founding Firaxis and making this all possible. Okay. And to everyone at Electron. <laughs> so many chances! You said it. You can tell when the two people had sex. 
electronic arts and the Paraxis Games who poured the blood and tears into this game. Thank you very much. So, Brian, don't go away. Um, I think Brian's about 14 uh, years younger than up. Sid. So it says, I get the same vibe whenever you and Mike stream together. Yeah, but we're open about it. We don't, like, pretend. Half-life. Half-life. Accepting the award for Half-Life will be Dave Janutsky of Sierra Studios. My main man. My main man. You didn't believe me that I saw Gabe Newell earlier. Oh, that klaxon beat. <laughs> Whatever it's called. Gabe's coming to, uh, gonna open up with, uh, and then talk. Hundred bucks that he's gonna go, uh, This award. Fuck! It's about to. He knew. It really is for all the gamers. Oh, well. Um, it's for the people who told us what they wanted in an action game. It's for all the fix Young Gabe Newell. This really is for all you guys, and thank you very much. Well, wow, there he is. So thanks a lot. Congratulations. Who's this guy? I saw him earlier, but. Congratulations. I thought for a second it was Gabe Newell's dad. <laughs> like Papa Newell coming in, just telling him like, "We're part of my son. Thank you. My name's Albert Newell. Well, Gabe Oldell. Coolio. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Coolio. Coolio. <laughs> Did Coolio only have one song? I'm oh, Coolio with the flow. Yes. And I'm a gamer. <laughs> The seventh finalist for Game of the Year starts out as just another day at the office until your experiment blows up in your face. What oh my god. With? Do you think Coolio really played Half-Life? Like, 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 devil's advocate here. Do you think he really played it? Like, besides just doing the speech. Unfortunately, Coolio has passed away, so we'll never know. But... Maybe he did. When you win your award, you should, like, give me a free game or something, too. <laughs> <laughs> Half life. Yeah. Where's the mixtape between Gabe Newell and Coolio? We could have had the ultimate music. This was a boo overrated. You keep talking shit like that, and Coolio's gonna smack you. I can't believe that Gabe Newell and Coolio is on screen right now. This is fucking surreal. This looks like an AI image. To win this award. <laughs> like, what the and fuck? Around, like, um, Coolio and Gabe Newell at the 98 awards. <laughs> and Ascension and... Um, unfortunately, I've completely lost my voice, so this is gonna go all the talking. I'm sure that's a great relief to a lot of people. Oh, fuck, Peter, what happened? Can you shut the fuck up about you just know when two people had sex? <laughs> Do you think big man here on the right gave guy on the left a little too much pounding and he lost his voice? You know what I mean? You just know. Platforms. <laughs> this is this the game, game of the year. Game of the year are Holy fuck. Guys. Half -Life. Okay. By Valve, published by this is the big Studios. one, guys. Half-Life. Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. Developed yeah, by right. Paraxis. Right. By Get the Electron fuck out of Park. here. Grim Fandango, developed and published Good by pick, Microsoft. good pick, but if they throw Zelda in here, the you're done. of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time, developed by Nintendo <sighs> Limited, published by Nintendo for the Nintendo 64. And done. Banjo-Kazooie, developed by Rare. Sorry, Banjo, I love you, but you don't have a chance in hell. Metal Gear Solid, developed by Konami Computer Entertainment. You know, this didn't win one single fucking award tonight. Did it? No, I don't think so. It was on the, the presentation. Oh, anyway, shut Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Oh. Developed by LucasArts and Ooh. Factor 5. No, they didn't. Published by LucasArts. For the Stacked Nintendo fucking year, boys. And the game of the year is... Here we go. It is, in fact, uh, Zelda. <laughs> uh, no <surprise>. <laughs> <laughs> Accepting the award for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Oh my god, Shigeru Miyamoto is just like, fuck, are we gonna get this back to goddamn Kyoto or whatever? Fuck. And again with the Conan of the Barbarian soundtrack, Riders of Doom. You took my father's award. Two developers facing each other. Thank you. Thank you what is the real of uh, awards? This is Mr. Takashi Tezuka. Uh, he's been walking. 
very closely with me <laughs> uh, since Super Mario Brothers. And also he directed uh, some of the sequels. <laughs> Can you stop at the years? No, come for fuck's sake. <laughs> Not everybody had sex in the show, okay? For your tremendous work. Thank you, Shigeru Miyamoto, for winning every single category. Thank you, Gabe, right there in the bottom left. Give him a big clap. Guys, I'm not trying to be an asshole here, but this was so much better than the Jeff Keighley Video Game Awards. I am unironically saying that, and you might say that is nostalgic bullshit because you're a hundred years old, Joel. But this was straight to the fucking point. I, I wasn't bored at all. I was just, you know. I don't have the number anymore. Fuck! One of my favorite E3 moments is when Shigeru Miyamoto comes out after Twilight Princess announcement, and it's the funniest fucking shit I've ever seen in my life. Because the I, let me show you instead, instead of talking about it. Okay, hang on. This guy in the crowd responds to it exactly like I would have. You have to rem remind reminded that people didn't like Wind Waker that much. I, I know that's insane to say, but this is back then. And people are like, we want Ocarina of Time 2. And people are like, holy shit, it is Ocarina of Time 2. So the hype here is explosive. You know, people are going fucking ape shit doing cartwheels. Just going, holy fuck. Watch this. So it's crazy. It's explosive. People are going, holy fuck. And then this happens. Listen to the guys yelling. Listen to the guy yelling. Am I thinking of the same clip? We we won't watch this till the end because it's a very specific thing the guy says. Fuck, I just want a different perspective. Okay, so there's another clip of the same conference. I just got a bad alternate a angle of this. The think I'm clip I'm thinking of when Miyamoto comes out. There's a guy yelling, "Who's the man? Who's the fucking man?" I'm not even kidding. Who's the fucking man? Who's the man? Who's the man? Yoda man. And people are like, you know, holy shit, you know, skip ahead a little bit, you know. But watch this. Again, people are going crazy, like, holy fuck, Ocarina of Time 2! Ocarina of Time 2! Holy fucking shit! Holy fuck! Here, here it is, here it is. Listen to this. <laughs> Who's the man? <laughs> You're the man. All right, guys. Well, uh, fun anecdotal shit here. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the um, 98th annual, the second annual Interactive Achievement Awards 99. That's what it was. Uh, really fun. Complete global lactation. Shit.